Hey, Rob here for Quadratech.com. Today we're checking out the lineup of steering stabilizers from Fox, available for the 2018 and newer Jeep Wrangler JL and the 20 and newer Jeep Gladiator JT. Now before I get into today's product view, if you guys like these videos, do me a huge favor and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you'll be sure to catch this as well as all of our latest product views and plenty more. As you can see, I've got three options from Fox on the table today. Their Performance Series 2.0 Smooth Body IFP Stabilizer. I also have their Performance Series 2.0 TS Stabilizer. And finally, the Fox Factory Race Series 2.0 ATS Stabilizer. And we can classify them into basically a good, better, and best stabilizer. And I'm gonna go over some of the features that you can get by installing each one of these on your Jeep to help make your decision a little bit easier and figuring out which one might be the perfect fit for your Jeep and your driving style. Now I also have the factory stabilizer that was installed on the assembly line on the Jeep here, just so we can visually compare it to some of the differences you're gonna get by switching to one of these stabilizers from Fox. Now, before I get into some of the features of each of these, I'd like to go over the basic job of the stabilizer in your steering system. And it's to do just that, to stabilize and dampen some of the feedback and response you get from your steering system. So whether you're on the road and you hit a pothole or maybe heading down the trail going over some rocks, well, with a solid front axle suspension in the Jeep, we're gonna transfer a lot of that feedback from the left to the right side, up the drag link into the steering box, and finally into your steering wheel. Now, by having that steering stabilizer in the system, it's gonna help dampen some of that feedback to make your drive that much more enjoyable. Now, it's also gonna be there to help stabilize that system, especially if you've installed some oversized and wider off-road tires well, they're gonna have a tendency to wander from side to side when you're driving. That stabilizer is gonna help mitigate any of that wander, giving you the most level of control in your steering system, allowing you to point your Jeep exactly where you want it instead of simply going along for the ride. Now, a stabilizer is basically a shock, so it's built pretty much the same way as the shocks on all four corners of your Jeep. Inside the body of the stabilizer, well, there's a shaft connected to a piston, and there's some high pressure gas and shock oil in there. Now in that factory stabilizer, there's nothing separating the gas and the oil. So under heavy use, we can start to have some aeration and causing some air bubbles to form between the two. When that occurs, we're gonna lose some of the performance from that factory stabilizer. The factory stabilizer is also made from a steel body which is not only gonna be susceptible to rust and corrosion over time, but it's also going to retain all that heat inside of the body of the stabilizer. It doesn't do a very good job at helping to get that heat out that's generated when you're cycling the stabilizer back and forth. So if we jump over to the three options here from Fox, the Performance 2.0 IFP, the Performance Series 2.0 TS, and the Fox Factory Race Series 2.0 ATS, we're gonna get some of the same great features and benefits from all three. Now for starters, all of them are made right here in the USA and they've all been designed to be a bolt-on install. And you can easily see here that each one of these options from Fox is a slightly larger two inch diameter CNC machine 6061 T6 aluminum body. That's been clear anodized to help protect it from corrosion and keep it looking great over time. Now, in addition to looking great, going with that aluminum body on any of these options from Fox is going to help disperse any of that heat generated from cycling that stabilizer back and forth. By keeping them running cool, well, that's gonna help maintain a higher level of performance than we could experience with that factory stabilizer. Each one of these options also features a half inch diameter, heat treated, hard chromed shaft, along with, again, 6061 T6 aluminum ends on there for a very great looking stabilizer that's gonna perform very well also. Now, the Performance Series 2.0 IFP stabilizer is called a smooth body stabilizer, and as you can see, it is a one piece aluminum body, and then inside, the IFP, the internal floating piston is there in place in between the high pressure nitrogen gas and the shock oil. Now the job of that floating piston is to separate the two so that there's no chance of aeration under heavy use, which means that the level of performance is gonna remain constant even under heavier use. We're not gonna see any degrade in performance like we would with that factory steering stabilizer. Now bolting in the Performance Series 2.0 IFP is easy. It's simply gonna bolt right in place of that factory stabilizer. 
utilizing all the factory bolts. Now, if we jump up to the Performance Series 2.0 TS, that TS stands for a through shaft design. So again, we're gonna see a lot of the same features from the IFP stabilizer, but now we've got a shaft that extends all the way through the body of that stabilizer. One of the inherent problems with a more traditional style stabilizer is that as that is compressed and the shaft enters into the body of the stabilizer, well, it's gonna take up some of the internal volume. That inherently is gonna create some pressure, which is gonna to translate to some push and pull feedback in your steering wheel, depending on where you are in your steering cycle. I'm going to a through shaft design means that no matter where you are in your steering cycle, well, the internal volume inside that body is gonna remain constant, which means we're gonna get a neutral design out of this steering stabilizer. We're not gonna get any push or pull from the steering system, which means we're gonna get the highest level of control over our steering with a neutral design stabilizer. That damping level is gonna stay consistent no matter where you are through the steering cycle. Again, our Performance Series 2.0 TS stabilizer is gonna be a bolt-on install. Instead, this time, we are gonna be removing the factory bracket from the axle, and the new bracket that comes with the TS stabilizer will bolt right in place again using all that factory hardware for a very quick and easy install. Now, if we jump up to the Factory Race Series 2.0, again, we're gonna be building on the previous models from Fox here. We've got that same great two inch diameter CNC machined aluminum body, aluminum ends, but now we're getting a piggyback reservoir on here. So we've got the same great through shaft design. It's gonna remain neutral with a consistent level of damping throughout the steering cycle, but having that piggyback reservoir on there is gonna allow us the extra capacity for some additional shock oil, which is gonna to help to keep this ATS stabilizer running cooler. Now it also features that IFP, that internal floating piston that I mentioned just a little bit earlier. Again, it's gonna separate that shock oil and the gas to prevent any chance of any aeration from occurring, even under heavy use again, to give us a very consistent level of performance out of the ATS stabilizer. Now, the one thing we're gonna gain over the standard TS here now is the ability to adjust the level of dampening. The ATS is an adjustable through shaft design. And right down here on the shaft end, we'll see a little flathead adjustment screw that's gonna give you 24 points of adjustment ranging from very soft to very firm to help you customize your steering setup depending on maybe the type of terrain or style of driving you're gonna be doing. So let's say you're crawling down a nice slow trail, rocky trail, and you wanna soften up that steering system just a bit, well, you can twist that flathead screwdriver counterclockwise to soften up the steering feedback. And let's say you're gonna be doing a little bit more high-speed spirited type driving, well, you can go ahead and twist that flathead screwdriver clockwise up to 24 points of adjustment to firm up the level of dampening you're gonna get with the ATS stabilizer to help give you the confidence you need for a more spirited style of driving. It's gonna bolt in just as easy as the Performance Series 2.0, where we're gonna be removing that factory bracket from the axle and replacing it with the included bracket from Fox. Again, reusing all of that same factory hardware to get that installed in your Jeep. If you guys wanna get more information or to purchase any one of these options, from Fox, you can click the info button to head over to quadratech.com. Of course, if you have any comments or questions about any of the steering stabilizers or how to get them installed, you can always leave those for me down in the comment section below or contact us directly at any of the options on the screen. Till next time, I'm Rob. I'll see you guys out on the trail.